it is officially new bike day and this is something that doesn't happen very often so this is actually the first ride on the new bike this is my new rocky mountain instinct carbon 30. super excited to try this thing out let's get into it so this is my first ride on this bike literally i mean i've done it rode on the street for like two minutes before i had to leave for a camping trip so really excited to finally ride this thing um got set up a little bit definitely need to do some more adjustments i can tell that the seat height is definitely not high enough and it's pitched way too backwards so yeah there's that uh, i did get this into the tubeless this is the uh, rocky mountain instinct carbon 30 and uh, i picked it up from jensen usa since I'm now an ambassador for them, which I'm super stoked on. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of new components that I've never tried before. So that'll be interesting. I actually haven't used a Shimano drivetrain in quite some time. And actually I haven't been on a bike with this much travel in a couple of years. So that'll be interesting. Let's see how this thing does climbing. Have it fully open right now. I'm also running a 32 tooth chain ring up front, which is something I'm not used to. Normally I'm using a 28 oval. So this should be fun. Oh, the cactus is blooming. That's pretty. Oh, these tires are heavy. I can already feel the extra weight going up these hills. And here's the big question. I want to go right or I want to go left? Right's steep now. Shorter. Left is uh, longer. But less steep. Uh, let's go left. So one thing I'm definitely noticing is that these tires are really heavy. You know, I'm really used to using a lot lighter tires. I haven't ran a DHF or a DHR in really quite some time. So I'm interested to see how these do on the downhill. So that's what this bike is gonna be all about is going down. I have a cross country bike. It's all about going up. This one is gonna be all about going down. A lot of traction going up. That's nice. And it's 140 millimeters in the rear with 150 up front have it open currently definitely need to play around with where the seat is on the rails and stuff because right now it feels very different from what i'm used to going uphill just feel like it's bobbing just a little bit which i've heard is common on these bikes and uh we'll say there's a lot of grip though this is completely stock, with the exception of going tubeless. Well, you know it's warm out when even the Chuckawalla lizards are going for shade, because uh, it's already mid 80s here in beautiful Palm Springs area. We're just outside of Palm Desert, and uh, this is Randall Henderson. It's a fun little small section of trail Nothing huge, nice easy loop, something to do on lunch. Curious about these brakes. They're the Shimano M4120s, which is a model I'm not familiar with, but they are four piston hydraulic brakes. And well, I mean, that's a good starting point. Ideally, I want to swap these over to TRP DHR brakes because those are Really nice brakes, and I'm really loving my TRP so far. I have the Trail Evos on my other bike, and I just love what they do. And I think eventually I'll probably put on some MTX brake pads to go with it. Honestly, probably to start out with, because those brake pads are really nice. I am going to hold off on brakes for just a little bit, mainly because I've already bought a new shock for this thing, picked up the Fox DHX rear coil shock 
for this guy. And I'm excited to really use that, but I wanted to try it out with the AirShock first to see the differences. I have to work a lot harder on this bike. Ooh, another lizard. I gotta be careful with snakes then. It's that time. Truthfully, I haven't seen very many snakes living out here. Uh, less than five, about all the years I've been riding, probably. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, it's because I am. This bike's a lot heavier than I'm used to. You know, I mentioned I picked this bike up from Jensen USA, and I would have done a bike build video on it, but they built it before they sent it to me. So literally I got it and all I had to do was put the front wheel on. It's really nice that they do that because you can just get straight on the trails pretty much without having to do anything. The brakes are already, whew, brakes are already bedded in and ready to go. Or at least I hope so. Guess we'll find out here soon, right? You know, it's a warm one out right now. It's uh, mid 80s and it's only like, I don't know, two o'clock if that. But uh, you can see there's a ton of uh, lizards out right now and I haven't seen a single snake so far. Fingers crossed I don't see one. But so far climbing this bike, it's a lot harder than my cross country bike. But it definitely seems like it has a lot of traction going uphill and there is a little bit of bob when you're pedaling. And, but that could just be, you know, how much air pressure I'm running in the rear shock. I think I'm running at about 230 PSI in the rear right now. So for reference, I weigh about 190, 195, about five foot 10, and I'm riding a medium sized bike. And I was really not sure what I wanted to do if I wanted to go large or go medium. Personally, I like a bike that's a little bit more playful, a little bit easier to move around. So I ended up going with the medium. So far, it feels nice. I think I'm happy with it. And on a completely side note, this uh, Cali Interceptor 2.0 helmet right now is awesome because of how warm it is. It's got so many vents that it just allows so much airflow to go through and kind of cool off your head. If you haven't seen the video I did on that, check it out right here. All right, let's do our first down and then uh, we'll come back up and go for another one. Let's get it. Well, I think I have clear sailing. Let's see what happens. Hopefully there's no one coming down the trail at the moment. They're coming up. I think I'm clear. Double checking. Yeah, we look good. Wonder how much I should trust these brakes. Never used them before. I guess we're gonna find out real quick. All right, here we go. Ah, tarantula hawk. <laughs> Well, it's going down decently enough. Oh, it's still so much better than a 120 bike. Still need to be dialed in for sure. It'll be even better when I get that coil on here. Around 21 in the front, 23 in the rear. With a DHF and a DHR. 2.5 in the front, 2.4 in the rear what the bike came with which is uh interesting so you know it felt pretty good it felt stable definitely a different position to ride on with this bike just so not used to it guess we'll see what strava says on that segment i wasn't pushing it but i am curious to see where it falls in of my normal times so far this uh marzocchi fork pretty nice i mean granted you know pretty sure it's just a rebadged fox at this point another blizzard all right time to go back up again feel better now that i'm warmed up though these handlebars seem really high maybe that's part of the problem feels like when i'm on the bike I'm... <laughs> my hands are really high which is something i'm not used to you know Coming from the cross country trail bike, it's a lot more lower slung, especially with the 120 up front. All right, let's get back to the top. So, I definitely didn't use all that much travel going down, which is probably good. Let's take a look here. On the back, we used more than I probably would have liked to for something like this, whereas on the front, we didn't use that much. 
So what this tells me is I probably need to add more air into the rear, which I might do because I'd like to try this with the air shock a little bit more, but realistically I want to switch over to the coil. We might have one more time to go do a quick loop and then a big loop all the way down. All right, I think we're good again for a nice clear run on the top. Let's see what happens here. Now that I feel a little bit more comfortable with the bike, got that first run underneath me. Tarantula hawks everywhere. All right, coming in, breaking. Oh, that was a big one. Probably gonna need more air in the tires for this. 21 23 is not enough with these tires, apparently. I thought they would be. Could also just be the fact that these uh these rims aren't very good. They're entry level WTB I 30s, I think. Alright, time to go all the way down. Looks like we have a clear run all the way down too, which is not something I usually have. I'm excited for that. down right now. I get back to work. I think I have a clear shot. I haven't had one of those in a while. I'm hoping I do anyways. Here we go. We're locked up really easy. What? Always gotta be careful with the people out here. And I got a weird hot spot in my foot right now. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, my feet hurt. Why do my feet hurt? New pedals could be it. I almost feel like something's loose. Another lizard, Jesus Christ. I don't think I like these wheels. Is the problem. I'm used to my freaking super nice bird wheels. I think these are flexy. All right. We used way too much on the rear for what we just did. And probably about the right amount up front. But I feel like these wheels are super flexy. WTB i30s, I think. I mean, they're, they're probably cheap rims. And I'm coming from my bird carbon rims. It's a huge difference switching from the, the really nice wheel set to this kind of not beginner but like uh just cheap wheel set that comes with a bike basically um overall 
it felt great, but I was getting some hot spots in my feet. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Using these, these pedals for the first time. And I thought they were going to give me more support than what I used to run. But I was getting a bunch of hot spots in my feet. And I normally don't have that problem with these shoes. I'm running my Etni shoes. So, well, stay tuned. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more progress about this bike. I have some videos planned for it. Next up, we're probably going to go ahead and replace this with the coil shock. Can't wait for that. I think that's going to make a big difference. All right. Until next time, this is MTB Rad Dad signing off. I'll see you next time.